Hello, I'm on the Lightstream Production Center and I'm going to add a destination. Now we know you can go to YouTube, we know you can go to Facebook and Twitch, but you can also go out on Periscope. Now the best way to do this is not to go direct to Periscope because you don't get the correct settings for Periscope, is to go out through Restream.io. So I'm going to go down to RTMP and I'm going to add an RTMP source and then go to my Restream.io dashboard. Now this is free and I'm going to take the RTMP server and I'm going to copy that into there. Okay, and then the other thing I need from Restream.io, make it visible, is my key. So I'm going to copy my key and I'm going to bring that into Lightstream as well. Okay, so I've now got both of those and I'm going to switch it off and then switch it back on. And that's the one I'm going to use. So I'm going out to Restream and from Restream it will go to Twitch and to Periscope at the same time because both those are switched on. Equally well, I could go out to YouTube at the same time, but all I've done is to take the two keys, the RTMP key and the stream key, and bring them into Lightstream, and I can go live. That's the theory. Let's see what happens. So I'm going live now, and I get this signal to Restream.io, and I've taken the keys from there. And I'm just going to go live. And the theory behind this is that I should be live on Twitter and live on Periscope at the same time. So let's see what happens when I go live. So I'm on a countdown now. I'm waiting for uh, it to come back and to say that I'm live. Now this is going to take a few seconds because remember it's going from Lightstream to uh going from Lightstream out to Restream.io and then from Restream.io out to Periscope. So I should be live on Restream.io. I've got a warning but I know that it's going to go ahead and I can see the signal on the screen and I can go to Periscope and uh, I'll be live there in a moment. If I refresh the screen then it will come down and uh, there's my live feed. So I'm on Lightstream and this is on my desktop. I'm not on a mobile. I prefer desktop to mobile. And I'm going live uh, through Restream.io through to Periscope and hence onto Twitter. Now, Restream uh, means that even on Periscope, you now have certain facilities. I'm just going to switch screens to actually show you what those facilities are. All right, so I'm switching screens and I'm going to send it to live and you should be able to see in a moment why I use Lightstream to broadcast on Facebook and YouTube. Imagine having up to eight people on screen on a Periscope broadcast. Imagine, as I've just done, being able to switch from one scene to another to have integrated comments coming in if you're on YouTube or Facebook and to be able to display text on screen as I was doing a moment ago when I had the, uh, image, the text along the bottom. I can show multiple images at the moment. This picture of Stu Grubbs, the CEO of Lightstream, and I superimposed my live video feed over the top of that. I can screen share. So I can share my screen uh, I can share an app, I can share a tab, I can share the whole of a browser. On Lightstream, I can upload video clips, so I can do an intro and an outro. I can bring a short video to talk about, and 200 megabytes is the limit, which is quite reasonable, and you can actually play video on Lightstream out to Periscope, YouTube, and Twitch. As I'm doing now, uh, number eight is a RTMP destination. I'm going from Lightstream out 
to uh, Periscope via Restream.io. And I can also add an RTP, RTMP source uh, so you can bring in external cameras without any wizardry being involved. And finally, which I won't be able to show you today, you can actually display local text files. This is Lightstream. This is my first test. Uh, and I hope to see you on Lightstream in the coming days and weeks. It is a fantastic platform to broadcast from. And uh, it's a pleasure working with the Lightstream team. And I'll see you all again soon. Thank you for watching this. Uh, have a great day. And goodbye for now. So that's the end of the broadcast as I come back to me. Um, and it is as simple and straightforward as that. You just to recap, we connected using the keys from Restream. We then went out onto Periscope, and there's the Periscope stream just being uh mm, manipulated and uh my live is there and then on twitter if i refresh just to show that this has actually worked if i refresh the screen uh there you are live three minutes ago and you can see in a moment that it was the screen on live stream going live to twitter and one of the things that I have noticed is that as on Facebook, live video is getting more and more impressions and more and more views. And you can replay it. You can do a whole host of things. So, live stream, RTMP destination, and it can be Periscope. It can be anywhere that accepts an RTMP input. And I'll go through the ones that you can use later in the course. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you in the next lecture.